If you know me, you know how much I love the rain. But I'm wondering if I only loved the rain because I was not a homeowner. <laughs> you see this pergola here and how it's completely open? The previous owner removed kind of the roofing to it to make this. But now, as you can see, the rain, every time it rains, it just goes straight down onto our door. And then that, in turn, leaks into here. So I can, I can already feel the moisture right here. So this is all from the outside. The other issue is actually, this house has no gutters. So all the water just pools right here. But I mentioned last vlog that the things that we need to do immediately are cover this and change the floors. Um, total, that'll probably be about $15,000, which um, we have about $6,000 left in our home down payment account. So we'll have to come up with the money somehow. I think what makes this hard for me at the moment is one, we have no furniture. So it just makes it very uncomfortable to live here, like sleeping on the ground. So I bought this from Ikea yesterday so we could at least be raised. There's no dining room table, which makes it hard to work or even eat. And then also I don't have a routine here. I haven't worked out since I got back, which working out in the morning is part of my morning routine, but I can't, I feel like I need to get this house in order first before I can build a routine because building a routine doesn't mean anything to me if I'm uncomfortable in the house. So it's kind of like a circle of, of no exit at the moment. And on top of that, I'm trying to stay hydrated. of almost crying because two furniture pieces are finally on its way. <laughs> I'm crying over furniture finally coming. What's not making me emotional though is that we did have the contractor come in um, yesterday and he basically told me that, girl, you don't have the money to totally knock down walls in this house. I'm like, okay, cool. So. This is the layout we're gonna work with and now that I have my answer for sure that we're not going to do any major re renovations, then I can finally start figuring out what I want to do. I feel like things are finally starting to flow and it's making me very excited. Here's what's been happening for the past few days. Brian got into a car accident in LA and then he drove into a ditch next to our garage. I think the dogs are bringing in insects from our yard into the house. I have never gotten bitten more by mosquitoes in my life. And now our garage gate is not. I don't even know what happened. We opened it, it where there was a noise and then now it's just not working. We are supposedly receiving our coffee table today and we did receive our bed frame, but I don't love it. So things aren't really going as well as I had hoped they would be. Okay, so here's the problem, or here's what happened. 
Our electric gate doesn't have any stop sensors. I accidentally like smashed my head into this gate once because I thought it was going to stop automatically, but it did not. So the only way our gate stops is if it is physically stopped by something. On that side, it's stopped by, I guess, like a bracket. On this side, it's stopped by a little tiny stopper. And I guess what had happened was the gate is so strong and powerful that it went, that it basically rode over our stopper. So we didn't notice it until after a man came who, first of all, fixed the chain and stuff, but we realized that the stopper was flat. But ultimately what we need is a welder. We need to find a welder to weld a more secure, heavier duty stopper for our gate. And then also our AC always turns off. So we have to go to the breaker box and flip it on, flip it back off. So we'll fix that eventually. But right now we're doing this stuff. I am not having a good time here. <laughs> I got into a car accident yesterday. <laughs> I kind of assumed like the first couple months of living in a house were gonna be difficult. Um, just because you figure out what needs to be done, it's all expensive, yada yada. I was like emotionally, not financially, but emotionally prepared to deal with all that stuff. But then somehow all of that trickled into, you know, personal life stuff. Like Brian and I getting into two separate accidents one week apart is crazy. You know, since last year I've been having this anxiety where I, in LA I literally wake up at 5 a.m. in anxiety every single day since last year, since before my solo bachelorette party. And when we came here for Christmas, it was like the first time where I didn't wake up with anxiety. And I thought, maybe it's LA, maybe it's, you know, time to move here. And even now, like even this morning, I didn't wake up with anxiety, like my heart racing, short of shortness of breath. I woke up sad, but I didn't wake up with anxiety. So I thought that this move was like a fresh start and also, you know, I don't, it takes me a week to buy something off of Amazon, you know, I'm, this is a huge purchase for me and these things I don't take lightly. And I thought it was a good decision and I thought that maybe this would be a fresh start or something and now it just feels like I made a mistake between everything with the house, between everything with our insurance claims master plan is like failing at the moment because i'm not paying any attention to it and you can't have a small business and ignore it like that's i feel like i'm doing everything but not achieving anything at the moment just have to constantly like remind myself to be grateful of things because then i would just like go over the edge i'm I'm grateful that no one was injured in these car accidents, that we're still perfectly fine. I'm grateful that we did buy a house because I never in my wildest dreams a couple years ago thought that I would ever own anything. I'm grateful that the dogs love it. Levi loves, loves the yard. He just loves it. And I'm grateful that we have dogs because if I was going through this, Brian's away working. If I was going through all this shit myself, alone that'd be really bad not that i can talk to them but just having them having the boys here with me makes such a huge difference and i'm grateful that we have a good support unit here those are the things that i'm grateful for i just wish at the moment it wasn't so hard to do anything i don't know if 
that's a sign that this was just like a huge mistake. I don't know if once things start to happen or things stop happening, emergencies stop happening, I'll feel better. Or if the pergola and the floor start coming, I'll, I'll start to feel better. I don't know at what point I'll start to feel better about this, but at the moment it's pretty, it's pretty hard. <laughs>